Greeting comic book friends, we have a TGIW that is a bit weird. It is a very small, large week. <laughs> or a very large, small week. Now let's go with large, small week. So what's the small part? The small part is, well, the normal TGIW stuff. It is the new comics is, look at that. That's two weeks in a row of... A nice small stack. Um, this is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six issues, which is deceptively correct. Um, I did get one thing off the shelf, but also um, there was something that came in where they were all damaged. So I, I don't have that. I'll have to get it when the replacements come in. Uh, so it would have been normally a six issue week. Uh, in reality, it's going to end up being seven once I get that um, replacement in. But we'll talk about that when we when we get there. So first, Amazing Spider-Man number ten. This is another Judgment Day tie-in. Uh, the last Judgment Day tie-in that I read, uh, it was last week. I can't remember what it was, um, but it it's. It's annoying because I'm not reading Judgment Day. So it's just, it, it takes away from the story that's actually going on. Uh, we have some Gwen Stacy stuff showing up here. So that might be interesting. I, I do like when Gwen Stacy shows up in some form or another, um, which we'll also talk about again in a little bit here. But anyway, um, so the Judgment Day tie-ins is something I just have to tolerate, I suppose. It's, it's a big event. It's crossing over into a bunch of books. Um, oh, was it Fantastic Four that it crossed over into? That, I don't remember. The last one that I read was a tie-in, and, like, yeah, it just disrupted the current story to do some Judgment Day stuff, which I didn't really fully understand because I'm not reading it. It sucks, but it is what it is. So hopefully, at least for what it is, it's going to be okay. Uh, Batman Beyond the White Knight, book five. We're on book five already? Uh, like, again, this is... I've never been disappointed by a White Knight title. Um, Murphy and uh, Stewart always seem to knock it out of the park. It's always Stewart, isn't it? I think. I know, I know at least it's, very, it's always Sean Murphy as the writer. Um, but, yeah, getting into the Batman Beyond, it's, it's really good. Uh, it feels like it's been a while since we had one of these. Department of Truth 21. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think of where it left off the last time I read this. Um, I think there was there was the, uh, the guy with the baseball cap was sort of defecting or, or um, being a traitor or something like that to the other side because there's the Department of Truth and the Something of Lies, which is the Russian version. But yeah, it's I love this book so much still. Star Trek The Mirror War. Love Star Trek. Love Alternate Universe. Mirror War has been uh, a lot of fun. We've, we've seen some TNG. We've seen some DS9. So, um, and what is this? Oh, this looks like Future Enterprise. The Three Nacelle Future Enterprise. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like we have a Reliant class. Is it a, a, is it a Reliant class? Is that the class? I know, I know it, that's the class that the Reliant... This is the type of shit the Reliant is. I can't remember if it's Reliant class as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, anyway, yep. Good time. House of Slaughter number nine. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know what? I, I think honestly, I've been enjoying House of Slaughter more than I've been enjoying Something's Killing the Children, the, the main title lately. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep with it, I suppose. Uh, it, it, it seems that it's too late to stop now at any rate, at least it's too late to stop Something's Killing the Children for, you know, I'm in, into it from, you know, from the, the whole thing. It seems weird to, to cut it now and also, usually when I, I, I'm getting a book, if there is some sort of ancillary title like this, I, I pick that up as well. Um, but it's, 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 is it the best book that I'm reading? No. They can't all be the best book. By, defi by, by, <laughs> by definition, they can't all be the best book. Um, but it's good enough for me to keep reading. 
Um, the the last book that I so the one that I'm missing it was um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Armageddon game. The latest issue of that came out today, but the my my story where I I have that um, being pulled from they all came in crunched. So I'm, I'm I'll get that hopefully next week um, or the week after. Uh, the other book that I got, um, honestly, I got it just for the cover. Um, I will read it. I don't know if I will keep reading it. It depends, but I definitely got it just for the cover. And this is um, Sergeant Rock, I think it's versus something zombies, some sort of zombie thing. Anyway, uh, so this this cover, was it came in a poly bag, but um, I saw someone on Instagram had, had gotten one and opened it and shown what was on the inside, and I'm like, I need that. Um, so Sergeant Rock blowing a hole through the head of a Nazi. Yes, I want that cover. Uh, I was hoping that like, th this is something that like, I would like to probably get graded so I could display it easily. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, this is not going to grade super high. Um, it looks like it was, it was damaged a bit. It's probably hard to see. You might be able to see a little white there. But anyway, there's like a ding in it. Um, so I, I I might just wait till like a like a 9.8 comes on the market or something like that and just pick it up. But for now, this is this is fine. Like it was four bucks. It's it's no big deal. Um, they had another poly bag one that I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the risk and buy the other one and hope it's in better condition. But before I did, I ran my finger along right here on the poly bag and I felt a, I, I felt something like, oh, no, that one's <laughs> that one's dinged too. So I'm not going to waste the, the extra four dollars, you know, to get another dinged one. But man, that's oh, it's so good. Um, if my if if my stance on Nazis is unknown, it's this is my stance on Nazis, F Nazis. So that's that's why I got that. Um, is the book good? Maybe. I don't know. I will read it. Uh, if it's really good, I'll continue to read it. Probably not because I am trying to cut back on minis and Sergeant Rock isn't one of my main characters. But man, that cover. Ugh, so good. All right. So what's the big part? So I so this is it, right? Six books. Seven if I got the, the one that was damaged. But still, man, that's again, that's two weeks in a row where we are we are we're under the target which is great because it gives me more time to read my um my back stock um the so i have a couple of other things something came in the mail today that since it was today it was wednesday it's a tgiw we'll, we'll look at wednesday stuff um some of you know that uh was it last week i think it was last week um, I participated in an online auction um, that benefited the Adeline Rose Foundation, which is a charity that helps, um, it, it creates like care packages and support for families that have experienced um, a miscarriage, uh, stillborn birth, or or infants that, that pass on very, very soon after um, birth. Um, in that, you know, I put some stuff up for auction and I donated a part of the proceeds. Um, there were a bunch of sellers selling stuff and doing donations and things like that. Uh, and there are a few things that I, I, a few prints that I purchased and those came in today. I'm really, really excited for them. Um, so one of them, let's see. Uh, one of them they put for, this one they put up for auction. And um, I, I won the auction uh, just because it's such a great image. Uh, so, and these are all signed prints, but this is, uh, so this art, it's, it's very similar to actually a couple of Amazing Spider-Man, um, covers, but not exactly. Uh, it's probably most similar to Amazing Spidey 362, where it has Spider-Man and the two symbiotes with this like yellow blast behind. There's actually another issue that has, it, within the, max, the Maximum Carnage event, that has Venom finding Carnage and like Spider-Man's head in the background that has the same yellow burst behind it. But this, I think, is an interior panel for something. But it's still a very iconic image. 
Um, and uh, this is this is signed by uh, Randy Emberlin. So it was um, Bagley and Emberlin that that did this, and it's signed by Emberlin. So if I ever get a chance to get this also signed by Bagley, that would be fantastic to have them both have this. But just to have this, you know, this print, and it came in this this frame, which I mean, it's it's a decent frame. It's good enough for, for holding a print and for hanging up. I'm not going to have to reframe it, which is nice. So it's much better than just getting the print. Um, so I'd love to get this, this signed also by Bailey. I think that would be, would be great. Um, but even if I don't, as it is, that's such a great, great image. And to have it signed by just one of the artists, have it, I mean, have it signed by all is great. Uh, at all is great. Um, the next one. So they, they did, where you could purchase, I mean, essentially a raffle, right? Where you can purchase entries onto a spinning wheel and, and whatever. Um, so this was one of the wheel prizes. So this is a print of ASM 129 signed by Jerry Conway, who was the, the writer during this time. Um, I, I've mentioned recently, I think, that I very recently got finished reading all of uh, the, the Jerry Conway stuff and Amazing Spider-Man. And... I love it. I love it. Um, I, I think it is... I'm not going to say it's as good or that it's worse. I'm not going to say either. But I will say that it's probably almost as impactful as Stan Lee's writing as far as the overall Amazing Spider-Man mythos goes. Uh, I mean, obviously Stan Lee came up with some very iconic characters and villains that are going to be around forever. Um, but as far as story beats go, Jerry Conway, we have the death of Gwen Stacy, the death of Green Goblin, the Clone Saga, love it or hate it, the Clone Saga. You know, without that, we wouldn't have Ben Riley, um, and Gwen Stacy is always showing up. Case in point, <laughs> Gwen Stacy. So I, I think, and I, and I loved it. I, I thought it was just great. So um, I didn't win this, but the person that did win it said that they're just going to donate it and to auction it off. And I, I won, I, I won that auction as well. Um, so that's cool. Uh, they had also, and also thanks to Jerry Conway for, for doing the signatures uh, and, and, and Randy Emberlin for providing the signatures for, for the, the, um, the charity auction. Um, they had two other Jerry Conway prints that were signed um the pair of asm 121 and 122 so these are the ones that i i really wanted this pair and i knew that they had them but the asm 129 came up first and i didn't want to walk away without a jerry conway signature so I bid on it and I ended up winning it. Um, they didn't get to these. They didn't end up auctioning these off. Um, but I contacted um, the organizer, Matt, um, Last Level Comics, uh, on Instagram. Uh, and also thanks to um, um, Sands Group Collectibles, who hosted. And Matt's wife, um, I'm trying to think of her Instagram handle, Black... Uh, I think it's like Blackbird Comics. I think it is. Um, the the three of those put the event together, and it was it was it was great. Um, but uh, I I, just, I reached out to Matt afterwards, and it's like, what are you gonna do with those? Um, and he just sold them to me for a flat price because the the auction was over, and the the the, the plan was still to sell these and give the the money to um, to Adeline Rose, which which he did. Um, I just said like these, these are the ones that I really I really want. Just don't you know? Don't worry about having to find someone to, to to buy them or put on Instagram and all that stuff. And uh, I've already got it. getting the other two prints is going to save shipping. Just stick them in that same box. And he gave me a, a flat price on them, so I bought those as well. Um, so yeah, so now I have three Jerry Conway prints because after I got done finishing the the um, the Jerry Conway run. I was like, I need, I need a Jerry Conway signature. I love these so much. So I was starting to look around for, um, 
like graded books that 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 he had signed and trying to find something that was what I felt was iconic Conway without being like an actual ASM 20, 129 or 121 or 122, right? Um, maybe something in the Clone Saga or something like that. And I, I might still want to do something like that because I, I, I love that so much. Um, but it was weird. I was just, just thinking, God, I, I want Jerry Conway signature and now I have three of them. <laughs> just kind of weird. Um, so, so that stuff came in, which was fun. I was really excited to see those. Um, last week, uh, I mentioned that I, I started a Daredevil run and I showed a stack of books that was like my first purchase towards that Daredevil run. And um, between now and then, I've made some other purchases. So the, that stack of books I had gotten from one of my, com my, one of my local shops. Um, I can't remember how it was. How, it was... It, it was it was a fairly good stack. It was maybe like fifty books or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Um, and then uh, since then, um, there's another local comic shop that I went to, and I got a stack of. Uh, it was probably like fifty or sixty books from them, and then, uh, the, uh, and then Legend again. I know that they have like a big back stock, that. Because they, they have like a, a whole room of stuff that they just they don't have room for it on the main floor. They had over time they had a bunch, uh, purchased a bunch of huge collections, so it's like their warehouse space of comics is larger than their storefront. Uh, and they were having someone go to that warehouse uh, over the weekend, and they said we'll have them look for daredevils. So they looked for daredevils. They found me another stack uh, of I I don't know how many. It wasn't a whole, maybe thirty or something like that. I mean, it was it was a good amount. Uh, and then let's see, I went to another local comic shop, my, one of my other main ones, Krypton Comics, and I went through their stuff, um, and I got like seventy nine books. I think it ended up coming to seventy nine books uh, there. And then I also know that they have a big back stock that they they just they they can't keep up with it. Like they 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 have such a it's such a big store and their back issue selection is so big and so many people go through it they have a hard time keeping up. So today when I went back, I was like, hey, can I also look through your back stock to see if there's anything back there that wasn't up front? And this is helpful hint. Whenever you're trying to fill in runs especially if it's a bigger store and you know they have a lot of back issues and probably have a large back stock, ask to look through the back stock. Because so many times, like, and it's completely understandable that they, they can't keep up. But from, from their main stock, I got 79 issues. After that, after the, going through their main stock, by just going through their back stock, I found another 71. Almost as many books in the back stock that weren't in the front that I got after going through the front stock. Crazy, right? So I have another big chunk of, that's, that's obviously not it, uh, of, uh, of Daredevils. So this is, I mean, this is probably half of it. So another 71 titles. So I've done pretty good. As far as, far as getting this run started, uh, I have a pretty solid base. Um, to go forward, uh, this is collecting volume one and volume two. Uh, I think I'm down to needing 160 issues, which is not nothing, but out of a run that's, you know, out of 500 issues. And, and to be fair, I, I, I started reading Daredevil off the shelf um, around, I think it was number 71 in volume two, which... I can't think off the top of my head what that is in legacy numbering. So it ended in 380 plus another 70. Uh, so, I, okay, 450. I basically started at 450. Um, yeah, that's right, 450. So to only need 160 more, that's not bad. Now, to be, again, to be fair, a lot of that I need is like, it's the earlier stuff, right? It's the Silver Age. Um, it's mostly quote unquote filler, but still silver age filler is not the cheapest, but 
Daredevil compared to other Silver Age is actually fairly cheap. You can you can get non key low to mid mid grade Daredevils for like ten to fifteen bucks, which uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad for books that come out in the sixties, right? So pretty happy with. Uh, I mean, I I. The biggest one I have left is number two. Um, but I'm thinking I can get out of this after all is said and done. If I can keep finding good deals for well under 1500 maybe? Maybe? Which isn't too bad for, like, a full run of Daredevil. I mean, it's not the full run. I mean, obviously I had... I have the number one, three, four, seven, eight. You know, most of the, the the keys I have, but still for that that amount of issues, if I could, and I think that's being that's being fairly liberal. I mean, the, the if I have to spend maybe what three four hundred on a number two, and then the rest are around the ten to twenty dollar range. Sticker price, right? Sticker price. Uh, hopefully getting them for, for much better than sticker price. If I could get out of this at around 12, 13, that wouldn't be... It's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's good to have good connections, for sure, when you're putting in runs. Because you, you... When you go to these local shops, you know, don't... If you're buying a bunch of stuff... Don't be afraid to be like, hey, will you cut me a deal on this? Like, from this one shop, I got 80, 70, 150 issues of nothing that great, right? There weren't any, like, huge keys or anything. The biggest thing I got today was uh, Daredevil 380, the last issue of Volume 1. Um and it's not in the best shape, to be perfectly honest. Like, as you can see, these are all backstock books. The bags are either pretty beat or non-existent. The 380 wasn't even bagged. It had a, a, a bunch of rub with it and stuff. It's not a great book, but that's probably the best book that I got today. But you, I mean, you're taking, you're freeing up space for them. It's a bunch of stuff that has been sitting around for a long time. It's not selling. Um, and they get to get a, a chunk rid a, a rid of a chunk of it all at once, so like it's 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 all wins for them. Yeah, they can cut you a deal on it, uh, and if they don't, then like I'm, I I would never go to a place to buy 150 books and like not keys but just like Daredevil Volume Two Number Thirteen. Uh, who cares? But buying this sort of stuff, because I'm filling a run and I've already gotten all the great stuff, if they don't cut you a good deal on that, then I'm not paying full price for that. Like, come on. I, I'm like, either take this infusion of cash or let this stuff sit forever, probably, and taking up space. Um, and most stores get that. Most stores get that. Some don't. I have experienced some that don't. And I've walked away from those stores. I've walked away... Uh, there was a store, um, it wasn't for comic, it was a comic store that I went to a couple weeks ago in Kansas City. I can't remember if I, I mentioned this or not on a previous video, where they had a bunch of D&D books. They got a huge collection of D&D books, and I, I collect D&D books as well. And like, I need a lot of these, a lot of these. And I, when I'm asked, like, hey, if I buy a bunch of this stuff, will you work with me? Will you cut me a, a good deal just to get rid of a bunch of it at once and get this infusion of cash? And they're like, yeah, we'll give you like 10% off. I'm like, uh, like I'm like, I, I have over a thousand dollars worth of stuff here, right? I'm going to give you for a little hole in the wall comic shop. That's, and it's not a Wednesday. Like this will be one of the best non Wednesday days you've ever seen. 10% is basically, oh, well, I guess have fun hanging on to those for a very long time. Um, and you know, they'll, they'll sell them. They'll sell them eventually. It's fine. But what could they use with that money right now? You no, know? but most stores get it. Most stores get it. 
that's uh, enough ranting about that. I'm, I'm still bitter about it. Like, one, because they had stuff, like, I would have liked to have that stuff, but also, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, why would you not? Why would you not want this huge influx of cash? I mean, not, not that a thousand bucks is, like, super, super big money, but for a comic book store on a non-Wednesday, that's a huge deal. That's a that's a big sale. Um, and they probably didn't pay that much for all their stuff and, you know, for all the, the, the books they got in, let alone the stuff that, that I just... I just wanted. Anyway, it's dumb. Um, all right, but that's it. So that is my big little week. Uh, little week by, by normal measurements, but big week with a bunch of stuff. Um, so the, the Daredevil stuff uh, is going to take up probably the rest of my night because it was from back stock. They all need to be bagged and boarded, um, or a lot of them need to be rebagged and boarded or just bagged and boarded. Um, what was nice about the, when I, what I got from the front stock from this place from Krypton was all in like new bags and boards I, out of this 80 some that I got, I only needed to reback two. The rest were like really nice bags and the, the price stickers that they use, um, come off real easy, which I liked. Um, but these, this is going to take up a lot of silver bags and boards. Uh, I, I'm going to have to reback and board a lot of this because it looks like a lot of it's either raw or stuff they got from other shops, right? This has a price tag of another shop on it. So who knows where this stuff is from? Um, but they themselves, it's, it's just whatever bags and boards they got them in. They were never rebagged and boarded. Um, but that's, it's part of the deal, right? I got a really good deal on them. Um, if I, if I have to do the bags and boards, uh, funny story though, so this, you know, these two piles of daredevils are sitting on the counter and I'm about to leave and well, I'm ready to leave. And I say to the, the, the guy that, that, that was, that was helping me, um, like, so can I get some bags? And he's like, no, it's like, you got such a great deal on those. And no, you can supply your own bags. I'm like, what? Like what? What? I don't understand. It's like, yeah, no, you got to steal on these books. You can, you can, you can supply your own bags and boards. I'm like, no, 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 no. Can I have some bags to put these in, to take them to my car? Like, can I get some thank you bags or whatever? So I don't have to carry them loose and drop them on the pavement. He's like, oh, okay. I thought you were asking for, for us to give you enough bags and boards. Like, no, I wouldn't for, for the letting me go through your back stock and then the cutting me a deal on this. I'm not going to expect you to give me. 70 bags and boards <laughs> like it was he was like he was visibly upset which i understand because to ask that would be that takes some gumption uh but <laughs> it was like no no you got a really good deal no you can use your own like i, I want to i just want to be able to carry them out so it was it was funny it was just a misunderstanding and i told him like no i just want like he's like oh oh yeah yeah i was gonna say you're asking like no man, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna push that. Uh, anyway, whatever. Rambling, way far rambling. Um, all right, so yeah, man, this is a, this is a half an hour TGIW. It's been a long time since we had one of those. Uh, so if anyone is still with me, yes, thank you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff today. Um, I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, but of course, don't forget to make yours tighten. This video is brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.